Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my first uh, emblem fight. I haven't done any of them. I watched a short little uh, video on Grimro doing it basically to get an idea of it. Uh, so the standard thing is basically you've got five emblems. Uh, is it five emblems or f five emblems? Yeah, you can put uh, anywhere from two to five in. After you do a four-way, I think you get the five-way unlocked. Uh, but basically, you put the emblems in, and the way the league mechanic is going to work is we're going to fight against the two warring factions. Uh, it is kind of like based around your clear speed. The faster you clear, the more rewards you're going to get. Um, unfortunately, oh yeah, you're right, I can't put these in. Oh wait, maybe I can? I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we're, we're playing hardcore, and I have a more defensive-oriented character. We don't have our six link yet, and not using like war chief totem and stuff so we're just gonna go jump in just to see what it's like because you know that's the whole fun of it right so let's go ahead and okay let's go get started here we go so I'm not using war chief totem either but let's see so I'm guessing I click Ooh, is this my boss so that's going to be one, and that's going to be the other. So those are the two bosses. Okay, I see, I see. Now how do I activate this? It looks like it's about to... Oh my. Oh, I do like no damage to her. Well, she doesn't do damage to me though, so I guess that's a good thing, right boys? So what happens when you play hardcore. Kappa 1, 2, 3. <laughs> As long, as long as I'm not dying, I mean, I guess it's okay. <laughs> it's my zero DPS hardcore viable build, boys. I mean, my damage isn't, isn't, oh, Monka. My damage isn't that bad. It's just not like, it's just not like crazy good, right? I definitely, I definitely think I should have waited to get a six link before I came inside here, though, for sure. I think a, I think a six link would have been much better. Yeah, they, they do have a lot of HP, man. They do, for sure. Um, like, this is like... Dude, this is like fighting, like, 11 fucking map bosses at the same time. I mean, it's nice not taking that much damage, though. I'm not gonna lie. So the other the other option is. So I only have thirty seconds left. So this is uh, this is kind of scuff mix scuff. But how do I? Okay, so you do that. And that resets it. So this time around, we're just going to look for the guys with icons. No one has an icon. Okay, there's a chest. So I could kill the chest. Okay, anyone else have anything? Oh, well, she has one, but I kind of can't kill her. God, you need, like, you need, like, pretty fucking good damage, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, like quite a bit of damage to really make use of this. And now shit loot. <laughs> shit loot because I didn't do enough damage. That's it? That's everything? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, it's it's cool. I guess it's cool because, you know, I mean, definitely the one positive thing I have to say is, like, it's like, at least I didn't get one shot, right? So that means, that means I could be way more offensive inside that area. I You know, I would rather it be a damage check than just be a survivability check and then you just die, like, flat out. So that that's okay. Um, I mean, in terms of in terms of damage, though, like like I'll go run a, 
I'll go run a, a nice, I'd say a moon temple, because, you know, the content, the content I just did was not that high of level, right? It was like, it was what, 74 or something? This is uh, Moon Temple. What map is this? This is a 76. So this is this is a higher tier map than that area. I mean, you can you can clearly tell the difference and like how squishy things are. So I guess I guess overall I'm pretty happy with that. You know, um, I definitely could squeeze out like way more damage on the character, obviously. But uh, being as it's hardcore, I'd like to be like quite a bit more defensive, especially my first time going in there. So um, I guess overall pretty happy with that as the league mechanic. You know, it's. It's something I'm, I'm actually not used to. I'm definitely <laughs> used to, like, getting so fucking scared when I go into those areas. So, that's pretty cool. Definitely a big a big change from from that. Let me, let me get to the boss, actually. I want to see how my single target is. Oh, I forgot to drop my banner. Hmm, banner would have been a nice damage increase, too. I did I did pop Vol Molten Shell one time, but yeah, it wasn't like... It wasn't like I was running out to get my charges for flasks. It was... Uh, definitely not like that at all. Ooh, a vault map. Yeah, you can just see how tanky it is. Like, look at it. It doesn't budge. That's gonna be kind of spooky, actually, to fight now that I think about it. Well, Vol Molten Shell, I'm a little scared. Okay, Banner's down this time. I mean, but when you when you think about, like, how easy it is to get damage now, I can kind of understand it being like this. Like, when you when you think of Slayer, like, being able to use, like, Disfavor and Starforge, and all you gotta do is just, like, get one node and go crit, it makes sense, right? Because this is, like, this is a very, 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 very low investment Cyclone build that I have. Um, so I, I definitely have to say I would prefer it to be this way than just be, like, the old school, like, one shot fest from before. Okay, but now I'm curious, though, right? Let me get to the map boss. Let me, let me see how this works. Okay. How tanky is said map boss? Yeah, that's like. That's like five times less tanky than, <laughs> than, than the boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's like it's like a little bit more tanky than a rare mob. That's crazy. Can you imagine like what was it like two leagues ago or like three leagues ago they made it so bosses had like two times HP? Alright though, YouTube. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I guess we are on the journey to get more damage on the character so we can start actively farming those, which shouldn't be too bad. I mean, you know, we're still using a Sinvictus. So we can easily upgrade this weapon. Um, I am most likely going to be dropping my... Oh, I guess I could drop Pulverize when I'm doing that too. Dropping Pulverize would be a big damage increase and... Um, Definitely removing Fortify, and I think I think we are going to respec into Fortitude instead. Uh, getting that six link so we can use like close combat, and that, that's going to be a nice damage increase. We'll definitely bring instead of Blood Rage, we'll bring War Chief Totem and maybe Vol War Chief Totem in there for the next time. That'll be another big damage increase. So, uh, and then potentially we could 
possibly even go crit, but that's really dependent on our gear um, to see like if that's even worth it right now. Uh, but yeah, overall, still pretty happy with the character. Um, not dying anytime soon, so there's that too. Well, I mean, let's hope not. Let's not jinx ourselves. But anyway, though, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope Wait, did I have my stance off this whole time? No, no, I think... Oh, it's because I weapon swap. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.